Sarah Sanders sends Bush presidents scurrying to dustbin of history with brutal truth after they attacked Trump. Today we had some bombshell news from the former Bush presidents. They, more so than Clinton or Obama, always respected the idea that they don't criticize the next guy because the job's too hard. But that is all gone now after they launched a combined sneak attack against Trump today. I am not doubting their past service to this great nation, and if they really feel this way, more power to them. Oh, I am doubting their past service to this great nation, because they were part of the destruction. It started with them. However, if this is political and is payback for now, Trump manhandled low-energy Jeb or called out the establishment for their many failures, then it is something else. Time will tell. If you missed it, CNN reported that the elder Bush said of Trump, or what the elder Bush said of Trump, I don't like him. Wow, huh? I don't know much about him, but I know he's a blowhard, and I'm not too excited about him being a leader. George W. Bush piled on too and took a few shots at Trump, saying he had no idea what it meant to be in the White House. Yeah, we, we saw you dancing at the funeral, George uh, Bush. We saw you, you, you crazed idiot. And you were, while the, the attacks in, on the towers happened, you were da uh, reading uh, ch children's books. I mean, give me a break. This guy should be, should be uh, held for treason, this one. They are entitled to their opinion. No, they're not. Not, not the, in this case. But they are not entitled to their facts. For those, uh, we turn to a hastily released uh, statement sent to CNN from Sarah Huckabee Sanders, White House communications team. Sarah is currently with Trump in Asia, and you know, ju you just know she would have loved to deliver this uh, stinging rebuke in person. So just imagine her voice speaking the following statement for full effect. If one presidential candidate can disassemble a political party, it speaks volumes about how strong a legacy its past two presidents really had. And that begins with the Iraq War, one of the greatest foreign policy mistakes in American history. President Trump remains focused on keeping his promises to the American people by bringing back jobs, promoting an America first foreign policy and standing up for the forgotten men and women of our great country. Correct. I guess the establishment has not gotten over their historic route uh, in uh, the 2016 elections where Trump took on not just the GOP but the entire Democratic establishment and wiped the floor with the bunch Share this if you think America made the right choice in electing Trump. Absolutely, with I wholeheartedly agree. The they're attacking Trump now because they're they're seeing that the Clinton cartel is going down. And do you think that the Clinton cartel is going to go down without taking down the Bushes who are just as involved? They are just as involved. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.